Okay, we talk about step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up a Unity environment to train a mobile robot like this. Okay, it is able to reach the goal while avoid the obstacle. Okay, so the instructions is in my GitHub. If you go to my GitHub and then go to my GitHub and then go to reinforcement learning mobile robot and then go to this reach goal avoid obstacle click homework 2 okay so I will use these instructions so the first install anaconda on your computer so that we can run the python code this is I have already prepared a P PPT it is on my AI lectures is here. Okay, it is on my AI lectures and uh, open this install on a Comda. So first download and then create an uh, environment and install Jupyter and then install these Python libraries and then <coughs> install the PyTorch, Torch Vision and Torch Summary. Okay and then you might run this code to do a CUDA test so I have already installed it okay so here is the environment I, I installed switch to <coughs> the environment okay so first you need uh, install Anaconda in order to run the Python code and then install ML agent. Okay, I put the PPT on RL mobile robot. Okay, here. To so first you go to download the ML agent. Uh, in this video, I will uh, use release ten. Okay, uh, but later on, uh, okay, you can download any. Uh, release okay but for this example I use release 10 and then simply unzip the folder to your computer so I unzip it to my desktop okay so in the desktop you can see ML agent release 10 okay it should look like this okay and then I need to import ML package to my Unity project. Okay, so suppose we already built a Unity project. Okay, we already talked about this. Okay, let me see. Change this to local. Okay, okay. Suppose we already built a Unity project. So now we need to import ML agent. Okay, so go to this window and go to package manager and select this plus. Okay, add package from disk and then go to the ML agent folder, go to community.unity, this folder, and select this package.json and click open since I already import. Okay, so and then it takes one or two minutes for unity to respond so be patient here if you don't see any response wait for one or two minutes and then it takes another three to five minutes to install once you 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 install you will see the ml agent is in your packages okay in your project window packages you should see ML agent also if you open a package manager okay you will see ML agent be careful be very careful about be very careful about the 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 version okay for for this example I download ML agent 10 and uh, then 
okay if I import ML agent to my to unity it should say 1.6 please do not do not click this update okay we will use this version okay all through this semester do not update otherwise you will have problem later on okay so close this and then we need to install ML agent to our anaconda okay so in anaconda go to environment go to the environment and open terminal so first you need cd to the directory where the setup pi is located so i go to the ml agent and go to the ml agent folder again here i see the setup the pi so i copy this and then go to my cd okay you can type dr to see make sure the setup pi and then you type pip install notice a blank and then a period okay this period must have a blank in between okay that means I want to use this setup to install all other things because I have already installed okay so you just pip install and once you install you type pip freeze to check whether you have already installed or not okay so go to ml agent go to ml agent you should see 0 0.22 okay be very careful okay in unity is 1.6 in in anaconda is 0 0.22 you must have these two numbers otherwise later on you will have problem also go down to check your torch vision your torch your torch should be 1.6 or or later okay in my example 1.7 is okay you you your torch version must be larger than 1.6 if not if not you have to let me go down if not okay you have to up update okay go to the pytorch website and uh, copy this and then okay install it okay and make sure once you install type pip freeze to make sure your torch vision is larger than 1.6 okay and then okay then we finish install ml agent to unity and anaconda you think you can take a look at you can take a look at your ml agent folder you can take a look at your ml agent folder now okay let's take a quick review first this community com dot unity contains the package dot json file for us to select to unity and uh, this ml agent folder contain the setup pi for us to install ml agent to anaconda and then this configuration ppo folder we will use it later to create a configuration file to train and uh, finally if you want to take a, a look at the PPO algorithm, the trainer, it is inside ML agent. It's inside ML agent trainers PPO and this trainer.py. You can open it, 
take a look at the algorithm. Now let's go back to the Unity to create ML agent. Okay, so first, first I create empty object rename as a car agent. Okay, and then and then I select this car agent and go down to add component. Okay, go to ML agent. I add a decision requester. Okay. Since I have already add, so I will add the decision requester component. This means this object will keep continuous ask, will observe the environment and make decisions. So when you add the decision requester, Unity will automatically add behavior parameters and a uh, uh, agent script, okay, which I already de delete, but if you add the decision requester, Unity will automatically add behavior parameters <coughs> and agent script. Okay. And then in the behavior parameters, we set the space size to 22 and continuous action to. Okay. So here I already explained the details in class. Oh, okay, so I just uh, skip it. And then, finally, we need to create our own agent script. Okay. So, go to this car agent and uh, go down to add component and add a new script. Okay. Just give it a name, for example, car agent, because I already create one before. So, I already have a car agent. So here I just give it uh, another name. New script, for example, a create and add. Okay, but in your case, <coughs> see, our car, car agent already have a component called AA. Okay, but uh, in your case, you better add car agent. Okay. So I'm going to re remove this. Okay. Because I just show you how to do this and remove the AAA. I just create hit delete. Okay. Okay. So. And then copy the car agent. Okay. At my copy this okay I already explained the details of this so I will skip okay just copy this okay now save your script and assign the public variables which we already explained in class okay so here you should see these public variables and assign your public variables which we will not explain the details, okay? We already explained it. So you have to assign the public variables, okay? This car agent. Okay, let me let me show you. This car agent, we have 18 We have 18 variables, okay, to record the the distance returned by the range sensor. Also, we have another three. We have another three public variables to represent our robot, which in uh, in my case is the car, and the goal, and the block. Okay, so I already. So once you've done this, okay, you remove the original agent script assigned by Unity, which I already removed. Then we manually test because in our car agent script, in our car agent script, 
we have, we write a heuristic function. This function says, okay, I want to use the up down key to move and the left right key to turn. Okay, so I go to this car agent and change this behavior type to heuristic only, which means now my car agent is not controlled by AI, it's going to interactively controlled by human. Once I change this, I hit play. Okay. Now you have to wait till this turn blue. And now click this game window. So now we can use left, right, up, down, left, right key to okay. Once we manually test stop to stop the play, just hit this again. Do not hit this. If you hit this means pause. Okay, it's not stop. So you have to hit this again to stop. Okay, and then we want to train our AI. So to train our AI, switch this behavior type to default. Okay, and then, okay, the instructions is in here, in the RL mobile robot. Okay, I have the instructions, RL mobile robot. I have the instructions how to train the ML. Okay, I put, so to train it, okay, first we change our behavior name to a name, for example, mobile robot. So I go to here, change my behavior name. And then I create a configuration file of the same name at this configuration PPO folder. So in, in class, I just teach you, okay, for example, go to your desktop ML agent and the configuration PPO folder. Okay, I already created one, but I'm going to remove it. Mobile robot where? Okay, suppose I don't have. Just copy any, any file. Okay, pick up any file and uh, copy and then paste and change the name to mobile robot be careful okay this name mobile robot must be exactly the same as here mobile robot mobile robot okay and then open it open this using WordPad okay now go to my go to my github and uh, go to mobile robot go to reach go avoid obstacle open this mobile robot yml copy Okay, simple. Copy and then paste. Okay, copy, paste. Okay. And we will explain the meaning of this hyperparameter later. Okay. At this moment, don't worry. Just save it and close it. Okay. Now we already create. And then in, and then go to open the terminal window and then cd to the directory where the YAML file is located I mean, so let me copy this path cd okay so I am in okay cd to the directory and then just simply type ML agent means I want to train using the ML agent program for
follow this configuration file and I want to save my result in a folder named one and dash dash false means if this folder is already exist then overwrite it okay hit enter and then wait okay because my computer is it, oh I have some problem let me check it okay I think the problem is it says no such file mobile robot okay let me double check okay in in this folder configuration PPO I should have a folder called mobile oh sorry here I miss M O B I L E because my file is M O B I L E so I have to retype it again M O B I L E I miss one okay let me try this again okay now it says okay start training by press the play button okay so now I go to unity okay. start and go to here see now my agent start to train okay so this is how it looks like if you see some error like we see this morning you might need to download the Microsoft Visual Studio okay I says if you have problem say Microsoft Visual Studio is not installed then you have to search and uh, search for Microsoft Visual C++ redistributed download and install just like we did okay this morning so I will wait for the training okay I'm going to okay I have trained for 30,000 steps okay so I'm going to take a look at my training performance okay take a look at my training per performance you just go to Anaconda open another terminal okay so now I have two terminals one terminal is to start my training the second terminal okay I will I will start a server to look at my my performance using the tensor Pro. so first I need to CD to the directory the result folder the result folder is in the ML agent and the configuration PPO here in the results okay and re remember we say the result is in the one okay the one directory so we just CD to the result folder so you will see we have a folder called one and then we simply type we want to start the tensorboard server okay we will use tensorboard to take a look at our performance so start tensorboard and directory is equal to one okay now just wait a second wait for the server to start so the tensorboard server already start and a localhost 0 0.0 zero zero six okay so now I just go to type localhost okay port number and then now I can see my training performance it will up update autom automatically okay Th this is the cumulative reward this is the episode length and this is the loss we will talk about details of this in the following weeks okay but basically this is how you train and monitor your 
okay so you just wait for like 15 minutes you should be able if you wait for 15 minutes you should be able to to see your agent learns okay and once you finish training okay or you hit control C to stop if you feel it's okay then go to your results folder you will see uh, all in NX which is the the neural network and drag this neural network to your project okay and then change okay and select this neural network as you were see here my I don't have any oh sorry here I already assigned some model originally I don't have any model if you track the neural network here okay and simply track this neural any neural network oh sorry okay and then you can can test okay your performance so basically that's how to set up a environment how to how to set up a unity environment to train a neural network to get the results like this okay okay we will talk about how to create a test environment later okay